Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Leo, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Leo, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Leo, Leo newcomers, I'm setting down now two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading Leo, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me this is going to be person A, <clears throat> this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck I have the five of wands, <coughs> sorry I'm so sorry. <coughs> <coughs> and bottom of my deck I have the five of wands in reverse all right so Leo uh, somebody wants to end some kind of argument or fight or something here even though I do feel one person says I'm not waiting around Omkara Taro I'm not going to keep looking at the past and I'm not going to keep feeling sad about my life I want to turn my world around I want to move on towards maybe new love or something uh, I think a, a person A says I was uh, waiting for a long time but they never made the choice they never made the decision so now I am I am officially turning my back to this connection because I want passion in my life. I want to have excitement in my life. I want a new beginning in my life. I think uh, whoever per this person is, I mean, they, they got tired of the waiting or juggling. I mean, they said I was always keen. I always saw them as uh, somebody I was attracted to and I had passion for them and love for them, but they never made the choice. So the other one says, but I see them as my true match, the other one tells me. They are my perfect match. In fact, I want to rush back towards them. Uh, they are feeling devastated now. They're feeling devastated at this ending because they have been hiding all their love. Maybe they never expressed it in the past. Now they want to work it out, but the fear is that the other person may have already walked away from them emotionally. So, but they do want to end this argument, fight, or whatever you guys have had. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you Leo but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I'll clarify these Leo and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be Leo and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be Leo and their person. All right, let's take a few more Leo from another deck, the last deck, and then we'll start the reading. Leo and their person spirit. Leo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go. Let's start the reading, Leo. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Leo, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I'm scared to reach out to you. I'm waiting for you. I don't want to be reminded of you. I have so much to say. I have so much to say to you. My heart belongs to you. I need you to need me like I need you. So somebody was being a bit narcissistic or maybe they were waiting for the other person to fight for their attention and I'm not going to express my emotions. I want to know if you are going to chase me or something like that. Maybe that's, that's where they wasted all the time. Oh, here it is. I know I have narcissistic tendencies, but I'm not one. I developed these traits to protect myself. Wishing you the best, even if it's with someone else. So one person's given up, saying, I'm, I'm not, I, I wish I'd never even met you, and now I wish you all the best. I forgive you. Go do be with anyone else you want to be. You make me so nervous. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. 
It's hard because we can't seem to work out our differences. Missing you so much. We truly did have something special. The journey has been difficult but needed. I am proud of who I have become. It was my fault to let you go. Our hearts are connected by an invisible cord. I was not prepared. I breathe your love. I've become more spiritual. I don't want to let you go. <laughs> All right. So these were some of your messages, Leo. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my lions and my lionesses with today. A blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Triumphant. There's victory ahead of you, Leo. At least for one of you, I guess. Somebody is on their uh, victory lap here. The universe is going to be giving you a lot of success. Triumphant. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to start with person A's energy, Leo, and newcomers. Remember, these are not gender-based. You could be either side. Uh, if this is your reading and you're resonating, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you. Yes, it could be a love interest, a spouse, an ex, a, a business partner, maybe a non-romantic you know, soulmate, it could be your best friend or a relative or something as well, right? So please use your judgment there. For me, this is person A who I'm going to focus on first and later we'll move to the other side. So person A, let's start with you. Uh, five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, person A says, uh, we've, I've stopped talking to them. I've stopped talking to them. I've stopped messaging them. I'm not focusing on my past, on the disappointments of the past. Why didn't this happen? I, I don't even want to ask them anymore. We're not talking at the moment, Omkara Taro. Absolutely not. In fact, uh, I, I mean... Uh, I think person A feels that uh, they were, the other person was very egoistic or something, very egoistic, prideful, was not, you know, saying anything or not telling them how they feel. Uh, it was almost like person A says, the only choice I have now is uh, decisions that I need to make for myself is like maybe move on and uh, leave this person behind because this person was just a just a promise breaker or a heartbreaker and they just uh, were sneaking around and maybe gaslighting me. It just became too much of a burden to carry Om Karataro. Here I was waiting that sooner or later, you know, they'll, they'll choose a direction, but they just left me waiting here. So, yeah, now I did wait. I did wait for them to come come back, maybe take some action. Uh, I was waiting for them to have that conversation with me, but now I've put my I've put my guard up now. I'm going to protect myself. I'm not going to be waylaid by their false promises anymore. I am done waiting around for this person because now I feel if they didn't invest in so much time that's gone by, then they probably don't even love me. There was no love here then. Why do you feel this way, person? Eh? Tell me. Three of Wands. What's the Three of Wands? Yeah, person B says because of their lack of making a choice, I did wait for them to return back to me. I was waiting sooner or later, but they never made the choice. In fact, uh, they kept me in the dark for so long. I was like wondering, wondering where they're at, will they, won't they. I kept my life on hold for so long. I didn't talk to anybody. I was just, you know, keeping all my energy intact, waiting for some, uh, you know, some clarity or some honesty from them so that, you know, I could kind of, uh, you know, decide what's going to happen in the future but then I realized I'm just keeping myself stuck I'm stuck and bound in my own little prison out here whereas they didn't have even the courage to come forward and say anything and here I was giving them all my love unconditional love now I've kind of learned my lesson I've put you know a lid on that cup of love of mine and I've uh, halted waiting for them in fact I'm now moving on towards following my own passions Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, yeah, they feel that their person was maybe, uh, maybe their person was uh, being a bit of a trickster or giving them false illusions, right? Uh, so, person A says, yeah, you know what, I am exhausted now, I am tired, uh, 
I don't think I can even manifest this person back anymore or I don't want to. When they do come in, it's maybe only about passion and nothing else. And I'm the one who's trying, trying, trying and I'm finally fed up. I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready, Omkara Taro, to take a leap of faith in a new direction and trust the universe to, you know, give me that triumphant victory, success, joy. I'm leaving my, all this trouble behind and I'm moving on towards finding my own peace and happiness because uh, they feel that the other person was emotionally just keeping them stuck in a situation, uh, not opening up their emotions and offering them almost little to nothing. Just wanted to see, uh, you know, if they would fight for uh, their attention or something like that. So person A says, yeah, I'm not fighting for them. In fact, it was too much of an imbalanced connection. None of my wishes, dreams, hopes came true here. I was emotionally unhappy all the time. And uh, that's it. So, person A, tell me how do you see the connection now? How do you see person B and how do you feel about this connection? Uh, person A says, well, uh, Queen of Wands, yeah, person A says, I've regained my confidence now. I've regained my confidence. There was a time that I had a lot of passion for them. I also saw them as my perfect match and... Uh, you know, but I didn't want to be treated like just a friend or a friends with benefits. I wanted something more wholesome and more long term. I wanted a happily ever after. But, you know, this is what they did. They just broke my heart. They broke my heart. They betrayed my trust. Here I was dreaming of, uh, you know, a long term partnership, commitment, proposal, you know, happily ever after. And they treated me like an option. They treated me like an option in their life. And that's the reason I've ended this connection with them now. And I'm here single and independent and beautiful and, you know, looking good, feeling good. And that's the reason I never want to look back at the past anymore. In fact, I've turned my life around and I'm moving on to finding passion in my life and some new things in my life I've regained my confidence um, I'm leaving this person behind because they they were not interested in a long-term partnership or commitment somewhere person A feels that the other person could just not make up their mind it was always up in the air person A could have felt juggled they could have found out that person B was maybe cheating on them or treating them like an option I think uh, I think person that's the reason I think person A is now saying enough is enough right yeah I mean I'm not chasing anyone I'm listening to my intuition. I've become bigger and better and smarter since this entire thing happened, Omkara Taro. I know my value. I know my worth. And I'm only attracting in positive things into my life. I'm not going to chase them around anymore. Okay, so person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Person B says, uh, I, I find them very attractive as well, Omkara Taro. I want to take action. I feel they are my true match. But uh, right now, I think person B is a uh, little worried because they feel uh, devastated that things are over. This person actually wants to rush back in. Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords. Yeah, because they are not happy either. They are not happy. They, I think they got used to person A uh, putting in all the work. I think they got used to person A doing all the work and now they feel, you know, where's my partner gone? They were doing all the work. They've moved, they're moving away from me. <clears throat> they're leaving me behind. I think person B is a little afraid that person A is taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Person B could be spying. They could be watching. They could be trying to gather information and uh, they are sensing that person A is giving up on them or dropping them or has blocked them now or something. Uh, so, why do you feel this way? Person B, tell me. Ten of Swords. Because they, feel, they are sensing that uh, Person A has now passed judgment on them to say it's over. I'm single. They, they could be watching from afar, right? So, this is how they are seeing Person A. And that is exactly what Person A told me as well. That, yeah, in, I'm, I'm seeing them. They've ended things with me. They're out there behaving all single and lovely and whatever. And uh, now I think Person B is uh, going through the broken heart. Because I think now they've realized I do have love in my heart. I do love them. I just didn't tell them. I just didn't express my emotions. But I realized in this time apart that I do really love them. So, King of Cups, 
king of cups yeah because now they're feeling the void you see till till person a was filling their cup they were all good and happy and they felt they never needed to express their emotions but now that tap which was flowing all that liquid and love liquid into their life has been turned off now they are void now they're feeling the lack of love now they're feeling hopeless in their life they feel now that they're losing out on a strong uh, lifelong partner and that's actually what's actually enlightened them to to the fact that uh, they have love the genuine love for person a now they are afraid this person is scared now that uh, things have stopped or things have halted between the two of you so how do you feel about the connection now person b how do you feel about person a and how do you feel about this connection Three of Pentacles. What's the Three of Pentacles? You want to work things out? Do you want to work things out? Yes. Person B says, I want to transform this connection, Omkara Taro. Now I want to work things out. I'm ready to offer them exactly what they've always wanted. I want to offer them a stable, brand new beginning uh, so that we can grow into a commitment and have a happily ever after. But. Um, and they are realizing that they offered very little in the past. They are realizing the reason why all this imbalance happened. Because I think this person was offering very, very little or very, very little or nothing at all. And they are realizing they were the cause of this heartbreak. But And that's what they are scared of now. It's like, I want to work things out. Now I'm ready to give a bigger offer uh, than ever before. But what if my person has already emotionally walked away from me? They are seeing person A as maybe moving on or something. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. I think the further the further person A is going, the, the more person B is now fantasizing, oh, I wish I, I could be with them. I wish I could have a happily ever after. You know, this is my person. I want to spend the rest of my life with them. They are now dreaming about the future. The further, it's like further person A is going, the more this person is awakening that this is the person I want. Yeah, this person is enlightened. They are enlightened that they are losing out on somebody who could have been, would have been a long-term stable partner in their life. So, yes, this person does want to get out of their stress and anxiety and I think they do want to take action desperately. And you never know, this person may out of the blue, I mean, they can't, when they, they, I mean, all these dreams that they're having, this person may out of the blue uh, come out of their hermit mode and just take action because they desperately, desperately want a second chance. They want a second chance and they're willing to put in the work now. They want to show person A that, hey, you know, I'm ready now. I'm ready to be, you know, all that and more. I'll take responsibility. I'm ready to fight for this connection. Uh, somewhere they are expecting resistance, but they're ready to fight for it. Okay, so let's see your actions then. I am going to take another deck for this one, uh, Leo, now. And while I shuffle these cards now, my turn. May I please request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Uh, it helps the videos to circulate and uh, keeps me motivated to do more videos for you, Leo readings. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. All right, so person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Chariot. Person A says, I've got my chariot and I'm master of my own life and I'm only focusing on the future now, Omkara Taro. All right, so tell me about the chariot. Is, is this you moving on? Or are you waiting for them to come towards you? No, person A says, I've, I'm still dealing with the broken heart here. I, they've broken my heart so bad, Omkara Taro, I can't even tell you how badly this hurt. So right now my focus is on moving forward towards stability, towards my own happiness. I'm not waiting around for this Ace of Pentacles to be offered to me anymore. Look at me glowing, look at me shining. I've got my confidence back. I'm moving on towards finding my own place in the world. I'm, I'm getting onto my chariot and I'm only focused forward. I'm not even focusing on the past right now. So person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Person B, 
eight of swords this person is trapped in their own mind now they're trying to figure out figure out how what if i go there what will they say do they still love me don't they still love me should i should i do this should i do that what will they say i mean this is a lot of overthinking right basically what they are trying to figure out as what they can do or say that their apology will be accepted they know they need to come forward first and foremost with an apology so it's like trying to figure out the best way to bring that apology so it gets accepted am i right person b tell me tell me about, about what you're thinking what are you stressing on what's this overthinking the lovers eight of okay okay so <laughs> person b is somewhere afraid that person a has cut 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 them away i guess first of all but they know they need to now come forward and start some communication hoping to heal this connection but the problem here is i think they somewhere feel that the choice is no longer theirs it's like earlier maybe this person had the choice and they didn't make it now they are expecting maybe by the time i go back what if my person is already healed what if they're in another connection what if they've cut me out what if there are other suitors around them who are also now you know vying for my person's attention so there's a bit of nervousness why is that tell me explain yourself to me person b what is all this jumbled up overthinking I know you want to put in the work. Ace of Wands, ah, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of. So, person A knows that they can't can't come in now with passion. They can't now approach person A to say, you know, you're so attractive, or you know, I still find you this or that. They know if they make any kind of bold move, which is flirty or sexual or something, they are going to be coming across as a player. so they are little afraid because they know that person a will be watching their every move it's not that they can bypass and get out of jail free card or anything like that they know the other person is going immediately going to write them off as just a player uh, back again to have another round and cut them out so this person somewhere knows that they this time have to lead with emotions they have to now come and you know be emotionally available to make their person believe that they want something long term and they want emotional happiness so what's the problem then person b if you know it what's the problem they don't know they don't know how to express themselves i think or they're wondering what the other person will choose yes this person now now knows that the only way they can come in is with something very very emotional to get person a weak at the knees and you know believe that there is true love here or they feel yes this person is i think wanting to come forward and come with that romantic uh, look now it's like if i go as a player if i go in with passion i'll be refused so maybe i should just restart the romance let's let's just restart the romance and which can lead to a 10 of cups here so they're changing their strategy and that is where they are stuck because they're trying to figure it out maybe they're not used to it they're only used to that passion and this and games and blah 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 whatever now this time now they are trying to rack their brain as to how do i come back and romance my person and make them believe that we can have happiness together i'm ready for a stable brand new beginning so person a i would say nothing that you need to do just <laughs> enjoy the show and let them prove themselves i would say That's what I have for you till next time then Leo love and light take care namaste